بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة تم اللساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما رب يسر ولا تعسر ربي وتم بالخير اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا اللهم آمين so with this dua we are going to start our first session alhamdulillah that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq time and is in us that we are sitting here for quran so we are uh, in the first session we were doing the sentences we have finished last time about the sentences. So today we will do some revision of this and also some revision part. So these sentences, there are two important things in the Nahaf part. One is the fragment, which is opposite of sentence. They are not complete sentence. Second thing is sentences. And when we say sentences, uh, this is basically two type of sentences. One is nominal sentences and second is verbal sentence. And if you say in Arabic, Jumla, sentence means jumla. Jumla ismiya, we start with ism. Jumla fa'aliya starts with verb. These are two important things. First thing we should know there are whenever we came across uh, in sentences, we have seen that it is start either by noun, then it is called nominal sentence. If it is called, if it is started with verb, then it is verbal sentence as on the first day of the class, and in many times, we just uh, stated this thing that whenever you see it, because in Quran, you will see a jumla, you will see a sentence. In sentence, there will be three important things. That there will be ism, there can be verb, there can be harp. And overall, this whole course revolve around these three things, noun, verb, and harp. When we say harf or letters, they are very simple. There is, no, there is a complete list of, I, I think, 20 to 30 or more than that. But they are very easy. They are used again and again. And only thing is that we should know the meanings of those. They are most commonly used letters, summa, fa, inna, ma, all these. We should know the meaning. There is no compromise. They should, we should know the meaning. They are coming again and again. And we are used to it. Second thing is verb. In the verb, we have done. Uh, when we say verb, verb can be madi, modare, amar, nahi. It's verb. And we have done level one, level two, level three, and a lot of verb practice. Most of the time we have spent on this verb practice and we are using it. The second thing is, na the uh, third thing is noun. When it comes to the noun, in the first part, we just, we have a small course before this Quran part was started in the second session. We just covered the fragments and properties of noun, status, number, gender, type, and they are very important. And now we are in the stage, and especially we are doing in the second session, we are applying all these concepts in the second session because ultimate goal is to understand the Quran in word by word way. We did masculine, feminine, and practice. And now some rules which are coming there, and they are very easy. Every week almost we just do one rule and just practice. So we are, nowadays we are doing about the sentences, nominal sentence and verbal sentence. When we have started, first thing is that when sentence come, there must be these uh, invisible is RM because they are not the in Arabic. So we have put as per the target language of English, there is a requirement that we have to put is R and M. How we can put it? There were some just general guidelines that it comes after proper nouns, followed by common noun, after detached pronoun, after nawasibolis, after haza, if there is no haza, hua, ulaika, if there is no al. And break in chain, we have seen the practice of that. Then we have started about nominal sentence. When we did first thing, nominal sentence, they starts with noun. And basically, it has three parts. That noun is called mupada. Mupada means the starting point. There are two basic things, mupada and khabar. And there will be more explanation of that khabar. That is called muta'alik bil khabar. So mupada, khabar, and muta'alik bil khabar. And make sure that they are about the noun. 
So the Muttada Khabar and Mutalik Bil Khabar. Then we have discussed that this Muttada uh, is because any noun had four properties. So four properties are described here. That is that it is Rafa, what is Nasab, what is Jar. Muttada is mostly Marifa. But if there will be any exception, there will be a reason. Uh, mostly marifa and it is uh, first is marfuism and it is rafa in, in rafa status but if it is nasabarjar there will be a reason for that and one of the reason we say that it can be mansub due to nawasibalism and muktada is the compulsory part it will always be there second part is khabar it will be also it is information about the muktada it will be marfu and mostly common now. And there will be multiple khabar, and it is it may sometime missing, but it may or may not be. Mutalik bil khabar, very easy to recognize that most of the time it is jar majroor, and rarely you will see also the example, there will be special mudaf. And muqtada and khabar, they must match in number and gender. Their gender, their number will be same. And this is important point to hear that is because now it is nominal sentence. In Jumla Fa'liya, this is there is something different. Like here, arda. This is the best example here. You see that if I ask whatever the I have discussed here, if I ask uh, someone that what type of sentence it is, so I would go to Arham. And let me check that how what he will say about this. Arham, yes. Arham there is a sentence. Yes. Arda. I say it yes. is Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Okay. Is it Jumla Ismiya? Uh, I believe that. What is how you will recognize Jumla Ismiya? I just said something in just four or five minutes. In uh, that time, I know you were not focused. You were doing something here and there, but I just, I want that. I was giving time, everybody that they should do here and there. Jumla uh, Ismiya, it's mo uh, Jumla Ismiya mostly starts with an ism and it can have three most, parts. Mostly, yeah? Yes. Okay. Not most. It is starts with noun and noun. That's it. Yes. So, okay. Now tell me that. Is it uh, Jumla Ismiya? It yes, start. What is the starting word here? Khalaqa. Okay. If it is Khalaqa, now let's decide. Is it noun, verb, or harf? Khalaqa is a verb. verb. So is it nominal sentence? No. No. Nominal sentence starts with? Ism. Ism. So see, uh, understand? Yes, uncle. Uh, so this is not Jumla Ismiya. So it starts with fail and yes. that is Jumla Fa'liya. Jumla? Yes. We'll come to this sentence. Okay. Now come to the second one. What is this? Kalimatani. So tell me about it. So, okay, let's say it starts with Kalimatani. Is it noun, verb, or just harf? Mm. Kalimatani is. Okay, tell me the meaning of Kalimatani. Uh, Kalima the mean... meaning of Kalima. Kalima mean? Kalima mean. Word. He talked. Word. Kalima mean. That is something else. Kalima, Kalima means word, sentence, statement. Okay, one word. So, Kalima. Kalima. Kalimatani is yeah. singular, plural, or dual? Dual. So, so now tell me that is it noun or verb? Uh, I believe it's uh, it is not verb. believing a non believing discussion. This is not that discussion, just it is either noun or verb. That's a verb, okay? Let me tell you the meaning two words, two statements, two sentences. Um, let's say it's a noun, okay. so noun. So there is no believing. This is just when you see a, any word in the Arabic, you should you would be very clear now. Now it is the time that everybody should be clear that either it is verb or noun. So it is noun. So noun it starts with noun. So what type of sentence it is? 
there was a gentleman earlier. I mean, a gentleman is me. Sorry. Now go to the next sentence. Wallahu ghalibun ala amrihi. Okay. Uh, I think it's Jumla Ismiya because Allah is the Muqtada. Allah is, and that is noun or verb? That is a noun. No. Okay. Now tell me about this Haza Rahmatum Mir Rabbi. Haza Rahmatum Mir Rabbi. So Haza is a Ismul Ishara. And that is also nominal. It's a nominal sentence. Nominal sentence. It will okay. be in nominal sentence, how many parts are there? There's three. There's the mubtada, the khabar, and then the muta'allik bil khabar. Okay. Can you please tell me here? Mubtada, khabar, and muta'allik bil khabar in haza, rahmatum min rabbi. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, Okay, I would go to Daniel. Yes. Go ahead. Tell me about Haza Rahmatum and Rabbi. What is Muqtada okay. Khabar and Mutalik Bil Khabar? Okay. Um Haza is um Muqtada. Okay. Rahmatun is Khabar and Mir Rabbi is Mutalik Bil Khabar. Mutalik Bil Khabar. Thank you. Okay. Second type of sentence we discuss we are, that is Jumla Fa'iliya. So in Jumla Fa'iliya, it starts with Fa'il. We should know that it is either Fa'il or now. So it will start with Fa'il. And there may be, there is three parts. That is Fa'il, Fa'il, and Maf'ul. In other way, we say subject, object, and action. And the important thing here is that will always there will be the file subject the one who does something or the doer uh, is basically doer subject it can be inside subject or outside of that one fail mean action and maf'ul is basically the which is done and it will always be mansub it will always be mansub and file will always be there when we say file, so it can be either inside door and outside door. This is very important concept we discussed last time also. When we are talking about verbal sentence, it starts with fail. So there, there is file, fail, action, and maf'ul. That will always be manso. The file, it can be inside or outside door. Inside door means when we do this practice, Nasara, Nasaru, Nasara. So we said Nasara, he helped. Don't see here Hua. That is invisible. Nasara, action is there. Fail is also there. And door is also there. So inside door is he. Nasaru, inside door is they. And action is Nasar, help. Nasarat, she helped. And the inside door is he. They are invisible. But we have to be very clear. There is a door and also action is there. Now. This, this We have discussed this many times, but this is very important concept. Whenever verb, jumla failure, if inside doer is he or she only, not they, not you, not you all, not uh, and just not I, not we, just he or she, whenever there will be inside doer is he or she. First thing, discussion is okay. That is jumla failure. We know that it will start with fail. There will be file, fail, and mafoul. The discussion is what is file? File can be inside door, outside door. There it is must part, compulsory part. If inside door is he or she, we have to look for outside door. Only when inside door is he or she. Outside door, we have to look for outside door. And outside door, how we will recognize? It will be in marfo status. And it can be outside door should be after the verb. And outside door should match only in gender, but not in number. In Jumla Ismiya, that is some other discussion. But here, outside door should match in gender, but number is not important. So, like here, Nasar al Muslimani. Let's take this example, and I would ask uh, 
Ali Ahmad. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Nasar al Muslimani. First tell me, is it jumla ismiya or jumla fa'liya? Jumla fa'liya. Why? Because, because he inside breath. Because it starts because with? It starts with? Verb. Fail. Fail. Yeah. Verb. Repeat this. It starts with? Starts with verb. Verb. So, okay. Now, Nasara, what is the meaning of this? He helped. He helped. What is, is there inside door? Yes. He. What is that? He. He. What we said here? Uh, uh, look for outside door when inside door uh, uh, is he or she. He or she. So he. So what will be the outside door? Outside door, what is the condition? It should be? Rafa. Marfu. It should be Rafa. That will be Marfu. Okay. Now tell me, what is outside door here? Muslim money. Muslimani, yes, Musliman. Now, can you please come and translate it? Two Muslims help. Two Muslims help. Now, it is Jumla failure. What is fa'il here? Fa'il. What is fa'il? You know, we said that when there is a verbal sentence, it has three parts. Fa'il, fa'il, and maful. Fa'il is important thing. Nasa. Now, in this case, what is fa'il? What is the subject in complete sentence? Who is doing the action? Muslim. With Muslim. Two Muslims. Wa Muslimani. So this is file. What is action here? Uh, they help. Help. Nasar. Help. That is fail. That is fail. And help. if I there is another part that maf'ul. Is there any maf'ul here? No. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Zainab. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Zainab. Okay, Zainab, can you please read this ayah? Wa izib tada ibrahim rabbukum. Okay. We did this practice before. Okay, we are just uh, inside word. So it is jumla ismi or jumla fa'liya? Um, this is. That means when absolutely. Fa'liya? Failure. We have to. This, these are just her. Wa is okay. We just, when we come here, there is a jumla failure. Mm -hmm. Okay. If jumla failure, if allowed, do you know the meaning? It means he tested. He tested. So, what is there inside door? Uh, yeah, inside door is he. If he is inside door, in jumla failure, it starts with verb. Inside door is he. What we have to do? You have to look for an outside door. Why oh, an outside door should be? Uh, marfu. So marfu. Rabu. Is Ibrahima is outside door? No. no. So it will be? Rabbuhu. Rabbuhu. Meaning? Uh, his Lord. Or his and it's, it is Marfu. Because Mudaf Rabbu. It mm -hmm. is Marfu. Okay, marfu. Now, so what is file here? Um, file... Uh, Rabbuhu. Rabbuhu. Yeah. Okay, and what is verb here? Um, Ibtara. Ibtara. And what about Ibrahima? That's mal, Mansoub. Sorry. That is Mansoub. Now, can you please come and translate it? Wa and Ida when Ibtara he tested Ibrahima, Ibrahim, Rabbuhu, his Lord, and when his Lord tested Ibrahim. So this is the best way. Thank you, Zainab. That when there is he or she, so you have to start translation from the outside doer. That is Marfu. Thank you. So let us do one more example here. I would go to Musab Iqbal. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you please take this ayah? Okay. This is a complete sentence. So now question is, is it nominal sentence or verbal sentence? Verbal sentence. Why? Okay. Why it is verbal sentence? Because ja is a ja, verb. Ja, ja is a verb. Ja is a? Verb. Verb. Okay. If it is a verb, so what we have to do? 
Ja uh, means he came. The inside door is he. So inside have... door is he. So inside there must be, there will be. Out, we have to look for outside door and outside door should be? Uh, marfu status. Okay, go ahead and st start searching for Marfu status. Anything in Marfu status? Uh, Nasru is mar no, uh, well, Fatu. Fatu. What about Nasru? Nasru is Marfu, but the outside door here is Al Fatu. Outside. Why not Nasru? Why you skip this oh, Nasru and no, just uh, Nasru it? is the outside door? How? Uh, Can you please read this complete together. Nasrullahi. Nasrullahi. This is a fragment. What type of fragment it is? Mudaf mudafilai. Okay. If it is mudaf mudafilai, we know that mudafilai always majroor. So what will be the status of mudaf mudafilai? Marfu. How, how you find mudaf. that? Mudaf status will be the complete status of mudaf because mudaf is here marfu. So Nasrullah is marfu. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. we were we were here. We saw there is inside door. We, we will not st uh, stop there. So what happened? We just go outside and we are start searching for. We we start searching for Marfu and we just see on oh, Nasru. No, this is Nasrullah. So its complete status is because of Nasru. The status is Marfu. This is Marfu Nasrullah. And what about this Fatu? That uh, is also Marfu. Yes. That is also more for okay. Now start translation. And when help of Allah came, when you then okay, you replace he with what the outside door, Nasrullah, outside door. So our file, because in the verbal sentence, there are three things, there can be three things. The important thing is file. So, what is file here, Nasrullah and Alpha. So now combine the translation again. And when and when help of Allah came, and when the help of Allah came. What about next? Complete the sentence. Oh, uh, and when the help of Allah came, and and the and and the victory. And the victory. And the victory. victory. Okay. One more thing, uh, I will ask you. Musab, because you are there. Can you please read this Al-Mu'minun? Read it. Okay. Al-Mu'minun Faraju. Faraju. Is it Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Failiya? This is Jumla Failiya. Failiya. Very nice. So can you please describe the Jumla Failiya? Yeah, I'll How you will recognize? How you get this knowledge that you recognize this as as a jumla failure? So how do you do we know that it will be jumla failure? It will start with. Al mu'minuna is starting with some so it not be uh no no. So you are taking back your uh, statement what you did. Yes, it is. So uh, now can you please? What is your new statement? It is nominal. Nominal sentence. Why? Because I'll, uh, this is ism. This is ism. In the table, no, we know where it is coming in the table. Madi, mudare, amar, nehi, fa'il, maf'ul, or masdar. Uh, fa'il. Fa'il. Amana, yu'minu. Iman. Iman. And fa'il is mu'min, mu'minuna. Mu'minun, mu'minuna. So this is, so this is basically jumla ismiya. So if Jumla Ismiya, the Muminun is what? What uh, what uh, this part is called? It's in file. No. File is not in verbal sentence. In Jumla Ismiya, how many things are there? Oh, uh, two or three. This is the um, uh, the file. Uh, can we say the Jumla Ismiya? Uh, First uh, of uh, all... Mubtada. Mubtada. Uh, Mubtada. Otherwise, I have to go back. So... When first we have to decide it is starting with isam or verb. This is okay. Okay. After that, uh, when we decide and we know that it's starting with isam, then it is jumla ismiya, mutada khabar mutalik beho khabar. If it starts with verb, then it is basically fa'il, maf'ul, and fa'il will be there. So this is mutada. And what is khabar? 
Okay, so what is uh, how you will translate it? But, uh, the this is just fail. Just uh, there, there is just uh, uh, this is al muminuna is mubtada. There is no haraju. This is just emphasized. So how you will translate it? The believers they exited. The believers they exited. This haraju is separate now. The believers. Jumla Ismiya is used basically to put some emphasis. And the believers yeah, so. exited. And the, be the believers, they exited. And they, again, this is file, fail, inside door is they. So they exited. Again, there is another uh, discussion that is failure. Okay. So this is all discussion about Jumla Ismiya, Jumla failure. I, I believe in this, that if we have these slides are there, we don't have to write anything. We don't have to search for any book anything just if we can go through these slides 10 minutes every day just give 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes to nominal sentence 10 minutes to verbal sentence and everything will be okay uh, we have four five minutes instead of going to the breakout room uh, in the second session uh, we are having inshallah there will be the feminine concept so just i take two three minutes to just revise that concept so that we will be there first of all uh, detached pronoun uh, masculine is hua, hum, anta, antum, ana, nahnu. Feminine will be hiya, hunna, anti, antunna, ana, nahnu. And in case of attached pronoun, so let's do rub. So I will take here Anusha. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Go ahead, just uh, rabbuhu in masculine okay. case. Yeah, rabbuhu, rabbuhum, rabbuka, rabbukum, rabbi, rabbuna. And feminine? Um, Rabbuha, Rabbuhanna, Rabbuki, Rabbukunna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. So Rabbukunna, Rabbuki and Rabbu? Kunna. Kunna and Rabbuha here. Okay. So similarly, any word, for example, if Kaid, Kaid means trick. Can you please uh, learn here? Kaiduha. Kaiduha, Kaiduhanna, Kaidiki, Kaidukunna, Kaidi, Kaidina. Kaiduna. 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 Kaiduki, Kaidukunna. So this kunna is feminine you all. E, this is feminine for uh, this is ta, e, um, kunna. And instead of who, it will be ha, plural of ha is hunna. Okay, next I would ask here someone. Uh, Burak. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Can you please do this alayha with feminine? Okay. Alayhi with feminine. Oh, alayha, alayhunna, alayki, alayki. Alayhinna. If this is he, then hinna. Alayhinna, alayki, alaykunna, alayya, alayna. Alayna. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ashar bhai. Hello. Can you please do feminine for this faala? Faala. Faalna. Faalti. Faaltunna. Faaltu. Faalna. Tafalu. Yafalna. Tafalina. Tafali. Tafalina. Tafalina. Tafalna. Afalu, nafalna. If Ali, la tafali. If Alunna, if Alna, if Alna, if Alna, la tafalna. Faila tun, faila tani, faila. Faila tun, faila tani, faila tani. Faila tun, faila tin. Mafula tun, mafula tun, mafula tin. Fail. Uh, so this is thank you. Faala faalna faalti faaltunna faaltu faalna and Amar is faali faali la faali faalna. So we have to go for the second session. Over to you, Doctor. Uh, 